Oh God. We are covering you, Mike. Oh, um, this is like this is what being dead must be like. Right Just in a coffin. We were at UC Berkeley, one of the premier science and engineering universities in the world, to drive a solar-powered car called the Zephyr. It's built by the Cal Sol team, which is mostly comprised of undergraduate students. The whole car weighs under 500 pounds, as it's built from an aluminum space frame wrapped in a carbon fiber skin. Despite looking like an absolute spaceship, it is fully road legal. It'll even top 80 miles an hour if you really want to explain to a local cop why a UFO was breaking the speed limit. But if you kept it to 40 miles an hour on a sunny day, its range is theoretically unlimited. If the sun goes down, you would still get between 150 and 200 miles from its onboard batteries. If we could power a car with something as clean and pretty as the sun, then everything would be better and the car would be brilliant. But first, you have to get in it. Oh my gosh, Raf, can you come here? I might need help. Let me lean on you here. I will hold on to the thing. Oh, wait. Oh, you can this step does not... You can step on the bars, yeah. How are you supposed to do this? First, for Mike to drive the car, Mike must get in the car. <laughs> you're strong, strong. Yes, strength. I'm filled with strength. Oh, you're gonna tear oh. up Pendleton. There we go. Good, we're doing well. I've already broken it. Now, I have seen you, I've known you for many years. This is truly the most oh uncomfortable I have ever seen you. And that is really saying oh, something. I, I think I might be wedged in here. Can I stand on that there? Yeah. Yes. Oh good, it's got explosive chemicals and lead in it. Oh, this is this is cozy. Is it? Yeah, if it does catch fire, I'm gonna die. But you know, other than that. Okay, for anyone watching, I am legitimately five feet five inches tall and 165-ish pounds. <laughs> so you have an idea, anything larger than that, I mean, I shouldn't even be in here. This is ridiculous. Okay, well, let's- comes <laughs> the fun part, yeah. strapping you in. Oh, uh, yeah. Trust me, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> We're missing the one that's got all the latching parts to it. Yep. I saw it. Oh, God. This is, there might be butt touching oh, there, involved there, there. in this show. Mike, just stay very still. There you go, if you could. <laughs> uh, here we go. Oh, he's got it. I don't okay. see. You guys, you guys may have to think a few things before getting this to market. Yeah. This is funny because I've never actually had, I've never gotten such a good view of someone else putting on racing belts. It's, which, it's, it's deeply, <laughs> deeply humbling. Mike, you look ready. I am the most uncomfortable man alive. I feel like you could tighten that chin strap. No, bit it's there, fine. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. Wow, Mike, you really look born for this. Oh God. We are covering you, Mike. Um, this is like, this is what being dead must be like. Right about there, Just in a coffin. Bring it down to about waist height. It's like Darth Vader. Oh my god, I'm driving a solar powered car. It's a lot noisier than any other electric car. It's also very rattly and bumpy, but I'm powered by the sun right now. But that's the complaint everyone has about solar powered cars. Oh, where does the energy come from? It'll come from a coal fired power plant, you know, and that's very dirty. But it'll come from a nuclear plant. And that, you know, produces radioactive waste. But this, I'm powered by the sun. I am the cleanest person alive. And extremely uncomfortable. That's the thing people don't prepare you for in solar powered cars is bumpiness. Uh, open road. I'm gonna full throttle it. Okay, full throttle, here we go. Come to a full stop. Oh, full throttle. Here we go! Oh, 15, 20 miles an hour, 25, 30. Oh. Admittedly, it doesn't go very fast. You still get the feeling that you're going really fast because your butt is approximately two inches off the ground. Everything's rattling at you, shaking at you. But, and you've got this fighter jet cockpit style canopy. Someone does have to teach these college students ergonomics, how to build a seat properly or comfier suspension or a way to find a turn signal. Because they said one's in here somewhere on the steering wheel, but even then there's not enough signage just to tell me where it is. But this is great. We are driving the genesis of what was thought to be the future, and okay, maybe solar-powered cars aren't the future, but solar-powered plants are being built all over the world. But it's an actually viable technology, and it's getting cheaper all the time. And having a car like this proves that it can actually be used for something. Okay, I can't be used for grocery shopping because there's nowhere to put the groceries. You would even say put them in your lap, but um, steering wheels in my lap. There's actually, my lap doesn't exist anymore. 
and it will encourage us all to go on diets and be healthy. I am very warm, and I'm very uncomfortable, and I'm probably gonna leave here with a few bruises. But I am sad to get out, because this is great. It's terrible, but it's great. If this is the future, I guess I'm okay with it. That's what I'm saying. I gotta say, once you guys figure out how to make this car more of an actual car, I think you're onto something. This is a lot of fun.